how to use Document 360's powerful knowledge based software. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we are going to be talking and discussing about Document 360, okay? Now, obviously you're wondering deeply what Document 360 is and what it actually does. So, you know, I'm going to let you know all the details in a few seconds, but you know, just to give you the gist of it it's a great self-service knowledge base okay and you can create it yourself online it's really great really grand stuff and uh, it's just an amazing platform that you can get behind pretty easily and just have a good and great look upon it okay so we're going to be talking about it all in great depth and detail so Without further ado, just keep on watching this video till the end and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so to start off, here we are, document360.com. First of all, introducing the next generation knowledge platform. Okay, instantly create an online service knowledge base for your customer and employees accessed either publicly or privately. Now down here, obviously, you can go ahead and book a demo for yourself by just entering your email and uh, you can create a totally free account by watching this video if you want to. So fueling knowledge bases for companies like, you know, McDonald's, VMware, Virgin, Dialpad, Rakuten, Daikin, and a lot more. So we know that it's pretty trusted and, you know, pretty great stuff. So start off here's, you know, knowledge base portal for editors and reviewers, an advanced portal for content producers with the state of the art editor category manager analytics and more so as you can see it looks a whole lot like this so this is your basic you know uh knowledge base portal and the knowledge base site looks like this so it's a whole like uh, if you've used notion okay if you guys are familiar with notion then knowledge uh document 360 is a whole lot like notion and it's just a really easy tool to use you can create you know different articles for yourself as you can see advanced portal for content producers state of the art editor category manager and analytics knowledge base site is for customers and employees a simplified site for content consumers with the state of the art uh search and optimized for rating of any device pretty great stuff isn't it. So it's number rated for knowledge management by, you know, all the great reviewers and the use cases are, first of all, product help docs, you know, build a world class self-service knowledge base for your SAAS products. OK, then you have technical documentation. You know, you can create how to guides, tutorials, reference docs, system docs and release notes. Then you have online user guides and FAQs replace online static PDF user guides with guides you can always keep up to date for yourself. Then you have, you know, different API documentations where you can automatically generate customizable API documentation from your API definition files. You have internal knowledge bases where you can build an actual private login required documentation for employees or clients. And then finally, you have standard operating procedures, build SOPs like employee handbooks or sales marketing playbook. Then you have, you know, document 316 action. Take a look at some of the live customer knowledge based sites. So first of all, you have Mambu. Okay. So Mambu in is, you know, an SAAS banking engine powering innovative lending and deposits and alternative cumbersome core banking system. The technology powers over 6,000 loan and deposit products across 46 countries, funding around $44 million. That's amazing. And then you have Decisions, okay? So Decisions is a complete workflow automation platform and is the parent company of Workflow.com. So many large enterprises license decisions directly for internal use, while others use it as an OEM for their own software applications. And the funding is around $40 million. And one more fun thing about Document 360 is that it also allows integrations and extensions, you know, help you work easier, you know, have a much comfortable environment of work, you know, so Document 360 works hand in hand with your existing help desk analytics commenting in chat products both ways integration helps to bring external systems like chat commenting and analytics into your knowledge base and extensions helps to utilize your knowledge base in the external systems like help and desk chat moreover like obviously if we were to go and actually you know discuss it features in that so first of all there's the knowledge base portal an advanced portal for content producers with the state of the art editor as we already discussed so first of all you get the whole features of the category manager so you can create up to six levels of categories and subcategories to organize and display 
colleague groups of similar topics and easily rearrange or move them with a simple drag and drop user interface. Then you have different editors, you know, Markdown editor, which lets you focus on writing text and code and heavy documents. You have WYSIWYG, it's a writer who are most comfortable with word style editing you know, feel feeling right at home. Both editors let you add links, images, video callouts, code blocks, and much more. And, uh, you know, it's just a good thing to have for your, you know, workspace. Then you have versioning and rollback. You know, you can view version history between multiple article versions or rollback to a prior version. Never worry about accidentally overriding the content with automatic source control. Okay. Moving on, you have analytics. You can learn where knowledge based traffic is actually coming from, what your visitors are looking for, and how they're interacting with your content with in depth analytics. Then you have localizations, you have safe and secure things, you have Drive, where you can store and manage knowledge based files, images, videos, and quickly insert them into knowledge based articles. Tagging, recycle bin, favorites, color coding, drag and drop, all of that. It's, it's a piece of cake. And you also have a great homepage builder, you know, where you can create your homepage, landing pages, you have headings and all that. You can, you know, create a beautiful homepage for your knowledge base without developer support using their great drag and drop interface. And, you know, their inbuilt features like reviewing reminders, getting notifications, you know, avoid state and outdated articles in your knowledge base with easily configured reminders. And you can also get notified for proper key events in knowledge based via email, Microsoft Teams or Slack. And yeah, backing up and restoring, you know, you can get daily backups of your knowledge base so you can restore or revert back to prior state. You also have multiple knowledge base and manage multiple knowledge bases from a single portal, each with its own domain and branding. You have SEO where you can get different sitemaps, robots, and article level SEO features like slug and metadata configuration. And finally, you have commenting where you can collaborate with other editors and reviewers directly by tagging them with the at name. Now, moving on, there's also, you know, again, you can book a demo right now by entering your email and uh, obviously either book a demo or just go ahead and, you know, buy the whole system. So, you know, there's four different plans. OK, and uh, wait, let me go to monthly. Yeah, it's four different plans. You know, you have standard, which is one hundred and fifty nine professional, which is three hundred and nineteen business, which is four hundred and twenty three. And then there is enterprise. OK, so it's on a mid year sale right now. So you can go ahead and get it, you know, 20 percent off if you want to. But yeah, that's basically about it. So uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.